One year later in the city of Venice, the conversation of hurricane shelters or lack thereof has come up once again. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez joins us live now with more on what city officials and Sarasota County leaders continue to disagree on. Rebecca. Jacqueline, well, this building, the Venice Community Center, was once the hurricane shelter for residents here on the island of Venice. But now that Sarasota County says they will not be opening it during a hurricane, city officials are worried about what they should expect if a big storm does come through. There is supposed to be a plan in place. Um, I don't know how well it's been communicated uh, because we've asked a lot of questions and haven't been able to get answers. Uh, I, I just have to assume that there's a plan in place. The Venice Community Center was upgraded back in 2006 with stronger windows to withstand hurricane force winds. The center also has its own generators. But Sarasota County said the building is still on an island and if the storm surge exceeds 18 feet, the entire city of Venice would be underwater, including the community center. Clearly risk potential to residents inside those inside that building we would not use that as a shelter it's been said in multiple meetings including joint meetings with both boards mm -hmm. this is an issue of public safety and the importance of moving people out of the area so instead leaders came up with the transportation plans residents will meet at designed rally points then taken by bus to shelters across the county but one of the shortcomings to transporting people to shelters with county buses is once winds hit, and I believe it's 35 miles an hour, they pull the buses off the road. So if you're not to a rally point, by time winds hit 35 miles an hour, and that's not even tropical storm force yet, if you're not to that rally point, you'll have no transportation to a shelter. The county also says they are looking for other options for evacuation centers that could withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Has put $3 million in a capital improvement project. Uh, we are currently talking with uh, Sarasota Memorial Hospital, who's planning on uh, building a hospital off the Laurel Road area. Uh, we're working to build uh, a shelter for up to 1,000 people on that new campus with the, with the hospital. So we're working on that program as well. Uh, that would move us into a, a, a higher area uh, of land uh, and would be an area for central uh, county residents, whether in Venice, Nicomas, or any of those other areas, to uh, also find shelter. But the city of Venice says that does not help current residents in the case of a big storm. I, I think we're in a very, we've got a, in my mind, a very serious problem because we're not providing the services uh, that our taxpayers are paying for. Sarasota County emergency officials say they will continue working with the city of Venice to ensure residents are in the safest place possible. Live in Venice, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Back to you guys. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much.